morning guys, uh, here we are on our second day at beautiful Exmouth. Um, we had a really cool day yesterday, just took it really slow after a week off grid at Windarabandi. Um, just had a little bit of a poke around the town and um, what to say, fallen in love. It is an amazing little town um, with quite a bit of development, quite a bit of money being invested in infrastructure here. Um, we're a long way from anything, like 1500 k's from Perth, but or probably longer. But um, it is a it's a beautiful little place. Anyway, today we are heading out to Charles Knife National Park. Uh, oh, sorry, it's uh, Cape Range National Park, but Ch Charles Knife Gorge. Uh, and we're gonna have, there's a couple of little tip-offs that we've got from the Information Center, four drive tracks and those sorts of things. I washed the car the other day, so I don't know how hardcore we're gonna go, but um, we also heard that there's been a bit of damage to the roads with local, uh, with rain recently, so uh, not 100% sure how far we're gonna get into uh, the gorge and those sorts of things, but uh, we'll see how we go. Right, Oh, someone's worried about the sun. <laughs> I'm not. Look at this. Look, come over here. It's actually, it's just, it's amazing to see this. Get and I know, it's, I know it sounds horrible, but um, the fire that's ripped through here Holy just gives this a new aspect. You can see the new growth coming up the canyon there too. see we've got the van on the back we're on our way to one of the probably the most anticipated uh, destinations that we had when we set out to go because we're off to off spray bay uh, off spray bay is on the Ningaloo reef and uh, it is a campsite that's pr probably been pretty well documented these days so uh, we're pretty excited to get down there it is off grid uh, there's no power uh, I don't believe there's any water or even toilets down there. Probably not. Maybe a dump point. Um, but yeah, this is meant to be like the jewel in the crown of Ningaloo Reef. Um, some info on the way in, unlike Windera Bandy, which is the last video that we did, um, it's not an epic fall drive in. It's actually bitumen all the way. Uh, the intel that we've got on the sites is you basically drive in almost like a car park and park your van up. So um, we don't even have to drop our tire pressures uh, on the Intel that we've got. So um, it's gonna be a, a total beachfront sort of oasis, but super easy. And um, when we get there and have a bit of a poke around, we'll let you know whether you can get uh, in there with a two wheel drive and, yeah. and a basic setup and those sorts of things. So are you excited? I'm so excited. I'm so looking forward to it. Where, um, don't have to stress. Don't have to stress. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't have to worry about the TV falling off the wall or, yeah. you know, stuff shaking out loose on the van and things. Um, we're also going to do a whale shark dive uh, while we're here. So I hope we can bring you some awesome footage of the whale sharks. We're pretty excited about it. Yeah. Um, it's actually a, a very a, a, the day before old Mavo's birthday here. Oh, corner. So. Um, <laughs> I got you really stuck my out on me yesterday too. Um, so yeah, we're going to do the whale shark dive. Where fingers crossed that uh, it's a beautiful day. We get great visibility and we see heaps of whale sharks. Um, along the way to Offspray Bay too, there's uh, the famous Turquoise Bay, Oyster Stacks, and a few other sites all along um, the World Heritage Ningaloo Reef. Um, fun facts about the reef as well. Uh, it's one of the longest. Um, uh, coastal reefs in the world. It was World Heritage listed in 2011, yep, I think. Correct. Um, it was listed in um, 2010, 2010 and then was awarded 
um, World Heritage World Heritage in uh, 2011. Yeah, there's some cool history along here as well. Obviously, the Exmouth Peninsula pokes out a bit. Um, there's uh, U.S. Uh, communications installations here at the point. Uh, there's a couple of Air Force bases, and and just really sort of. Um, if you're into history, some good stories, get up to the lighthouse and have a look at the um, World War II uh, communications and gunnery stations and things like that. So, um, yeah, we're, we're a little bit excited. We're a little bit sad as well to leave Exmouth. Um, yeah. It's just one of those places where... It's a cute little town, great vibe. It stole our heart. Here we are off Spray Bay. Um, we're here on site 27 for the next three nights. Beach just down there does actually have toilets, so that's great. Toilets, dump point, 100% um, you could get a two wheel drive and oh. a non off road van in here, no yeah. worries at all. Look at the roads, so easy as. No problems at all. We've kicked the van at a bit of an angle. We're trying to optimize our sun position here. And yep. also, just from what we've heard of the winds, they come from the southwest. So, we've done our best to get the awning facing northeast. So, I think mm. we're going to get pretty good solar conditions here, too. Yeah. So, we're just setting up. Getting ready to pop the roof and we'll pop the back out. Can't wait to have a look. It looks amazing down there. This is our first time coming down to Offspray Bay. Big gonna... reef out there. Check out the surf break. Yeah. Seems to be a fair bit of drift and current here. There's a little point over there which would protect the beach up here, which I think is why everybody's set up with their kids over here. A couple of people snorkeling. It looks like the reef's really close. Just walking around, there's a point or a bit of a headland there. So we're going to have a look. We just went for a snorkel. We found a little horseshoe bay. Um, not a horseshoe bay, like a horseshoe in the reef where uh, we had a bit of a snorkel around. There's heaps of fish. Heaps of fish. Um, didn't see any turtles, but um, old Mavy had a bit of a um, goggle malfunction. We forgot to bring the baby oil down, so it's baby shampoo. Oh, baby shampoo, baby oil. <laughs> could bring baby that, shampoo bring that down apparently too. helps. Um, it does cl it clear does. the goggles up so that you can see. All right, we roll down to Yardy Creek here just to have a look because this is the park or the sorry the camp where we didn't come into because we managed to get a bit more time at Winder of Bandy um, given the drive into Winder of Bandy was probably worth staying um, so this is just on the north side of the creek crossing but this park even though it's not completely oceanfront has a few things that are really going for it number one beautiful big toilet block over there number two Telstra 4G tower literally right there so you've got full 4G coverage and uh, I believe there's a dump point in here as well I haven't found the dump point yet it'll be poking around somewhere the only thing that's a drawback for this place is that um, there is a lot of car parks so there's a lot of day visitors coming through as well um, whether you like that or not different thing if you're down on the beach you probably don't mind but um, this is Yardy Creek camp spot Creek Crossing uh, you know, I'm pretty glad we decided not to do... Well, we didn't really have to decide to do it because we stayed at Winter of Bandy, but... I want to see someone do it. I don't think I would be attempting this. It's salt water with uh, a new four-wheel drive and a new van. Um, there's a bloke here that's going to have a look. It's high tide, so surely they're not going to do that. It is high tide, but it makes a great video. It would, wouldn't it? Sure would.
here she is. A little mermaid getting it's not ready for a dive. You don't want to video this. It'll be good. The rocks are pretty sharp here, so and there's a bit of a surge from the tide. So I'm just trying to stay stable. Bit of hard work getting out. It's a bit rocky here. Yeah. But uh Do you want me to take some stuff? Yeah, sure. Oh, we made it out. Look at that bomby just sticking out there. Pity about the visibility. I gotta... Hopefully the footage comes up pretty clear. It's very overcast now, so hopefully it looks well. On this cracking morning we're going for a whale shark dive, which is a bit exciting. Mavis is scared I can tell. She gets a little bit quiet when she's scared. <laughs> um, so this is Dee's early birthday present. It's her don't, don't <coughs> <tell> her <laughs> birthday <laughs> tomorrow. Say, don't tell them my age. Uh, so uh, yeah, super excited. Uh, we go out from Tanabiti Harbour, I think is what they call it. So we've got about, I don't know, 25 minutes to race up there from Osprey Bay. Um, the view's pretty good. And we go for about three or four dives, hopefully, with the whale sharks. And then apparently they do take you to a snorkeling spot as well. So we're going with a tour company called Kings. Uh, they're the OGs from Exmouth. There's now eight tour companies, but Kings were the first. Um, their boat looks pretty flash, and they they looked after us pretty well when we booked. So um, should be a good day. Thank you, Kings. <laughs> Look at how cute she looks. Ready for her birthday wild cup time.
over. Hey. How many? Whoa, how many boyfriends do you Up against the tide, it's always you and I When you want it Brave, pushing on the waves For a place to stay Bring the harbor And our ships are passing My love, this won't last Here we are at the famous turquoise bay It's Mavis's birthday so we are going to float in the drift loop and see what happens. See what happens. See what happens. Right, here we go. Walking over. No, thanks, mate. Oh wow, it is high tide. <laughs> There's not much to it, turquoise beach. I just want to say thank you for everybody for coming out for Danielle's birthday and thank you in particular for Eva for going to X Mountain to get a cake. We really, really appreciate it. So, on one, two, three, happy birthday to you.